now we have our producer, the producer of this show, Mr. Peter Richards, out here with us, along with Ms. Carol Reese. And we're going to be talking about what we're going to do with our outdoor space. So where do we need to start? Well, you know, as we talked about before, when you're kind of trying to develop what you want to do with your landscape, we think about, well, who's the user? And it's mm -hmm. going to be the show. Right. So we're going to define this space to make it more attractive sure. and functional for all the things that you do with the gardening show. So I think you had some thoughts on that. And Yeah, I did. First of all, the garden here, the vegetable garden that we have with the three raised beds, whenever we're shooting that, it's pretty ugly looking behind. we got a <laughs> chain link fence and mowed lawns back there. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Do you? I'd like to come up with a way to create some sort of screen here so that we see greenery instead of just seeing chain link fence. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. And that's it? Well. <laughs> and then also over on this side mm -hmm. here, once again, we just have satellite dishes yeah. that we see. Um, and I'd like to come up with some sort of screen that goes here. I don't know if it'd be shrubs or something mm -hmm. like that. Well. Uh, I think you don't have enough room to do shrubbery here. Okay. You would there. Uh, we have not enough room to get uh, between the fence. By the time you put shrubs, it's going to be, you know, four or five feet wide. Eventually, you're not going to be able to get to the back of your beds. Okay. So we'll probably go with some evergreen vines back there, which isn't going to completely cover that concrete thing we might want to. Right, uh, if okay. we could talk your building whomever's <laughs> into letting us, perhaps planting some evergreens against that wall, make a little bed out there as well. Okay. That would help soften things. Okay. Okay. And how about how about over here on the? I uh, like that idea. I kind of think uh, you might want to keep it kind of low. We don't want to feel too closed in, but to define the space. And in in a dream world, I think maybe this whole area could make kind of a courtyard. Okay. Oh, and, wow. and the vegetable garden be just sort of part of an ornamental space, which is kind of the movement these days. You know, you're putting yeah. those veggies in and making them cute mm -hmm. and part of your landscape. It's not the ugly old vegetable garden of yours. <laughs> um, so if we could do that and, and they don't care, because for one thing, that would mean we didn't have to get in here anymore to mow. And as you can tell, the Bermuda grass is uh, already creeping in. Creeped. This was meant to be no mow, but it, right. I, you know, I like to call it Bermuda know, the Hun. Bermuda the Hun. <laughs> it's a great turf grass for a tough situation, but for a gardener, it's such a weed. Yeah. And it's already come in here and taken over all this gravel area that was it's meant to be turf free. So that would eliminate mowing. Okay. From, I'd say, this whole area if we could define that. Okay. Yeah. Now there's, I also want to see if we can't ha do more demonstrations outside having to do with ornamental flowers. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and things like that, which might be out here a little farther. Mm -hmm. um, so it'd be in front of the garden. Now, yeah. we do have to leave enough space that we can put um, cameras oh, yeah. in between the garden mm -hmm. and wherever our next bed is. Right. So there, we have to, there's some spacing issues we have to deal mm -hmm. with there. And I kind of like that idea in a way too, because I think a lot of times people don't realize how much space they need. They tend to make beds too small and they don't realize how big the plants are going to get. And maybe even make it as a sort of a series of rooms. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I love the idea of seasonal interest. I mean, you could get out here year round and yeah, talk about like things that, that bloom in the fall or fall color or winter interest, uh, things that attract birds. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, we could just do all kinds of fun things. Listen to the we. I'm just nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're going to do it all for Yeah. Time. <laughs> I'll be glad to advise on that. and. Um, I, I like the defining it, and you were talking about some berms, mm -hmm. uh, and it may be, do you know if the soil is wet? Uh, yes, this yes. soil is very wet. Yes. Okay. Um, some of that might just be from the irrigation that they, they do here, mm -hmm. but often, even during the hottest parts of the summer, the soil is often very yes. soggy. Yeah, okay. Well, I know too the orientation of the sun, and people may not realize that they can look at their iPhone, and it's going to mm -hmm. have a compass on it, mm -hmm. and that this area is south. Right. So if we put something a little taller in this area, it's not going to shade your vegetable garden. We don't okay. want to put anything too tall over there, right. and we don't want to block your satellite dish. I right. know that would like be a major sin here. Yes, yeah, yeah. can't do that. <laughs> so are there other constraints to the site? Um, not really. We do have um, a lot of the electrical for the building runs uh, under this area, so we can't dig big holes. We probably can't put in big trees because we would end up either hitting the electrical lines or also all of the satellite dish video lines run through here as well. And so we don't want to disturb those because that would take us off the air and that wouldn't be good. Yeah, we don't like that. No, mm. that would not be good. <laughs> well, let's go up. Like you said, berms, a lot of people, I'll do that a lot of times anyway as a quick remedy. I don't like to till 
Uh, I like to sometimes bring in good soil and go up and plant in the good soil. And if we go with small trees or even some nice flowering shrubs, those roots are not gonna be a problem with mm -hmm. those. Those cables are in conduits, I'm sure. Yeah. And as people don't realize that a lot of times those roots stay actually in the top few inches of soil. They don't go straight down like people kind of envision in their minds. So we could do some of that and I see that big uh, wall yeah, in the building is sort of a challenge. The big gray wall. Yeah, there's a big gray wall. It's very prison-like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I really want to soften it. Oh. And I, there's, a, there's some nice upright green Japanese maples that'll take full sun and a southern exposure like this. Okay. That would give us a range of colors through the season and soften that thing, or even some conifers. Okay. Yeah. The garden room thing I really like. I think we may have to think about it. It may take a little more space if you want to do Two, we could do easily enough. Three, we're probably going to go all the way to the wall because the time we make those definitions, we're going to take right, up a lot of space. Okay. Uh -huh. So, so what do you see us putting in here in these rooms? What sort of rooms would could you see? Well, I think for one thing, uh, just like we had the seating today to do some of the shooting, we might have a place to have some benches and a nice little seating area, and be a good way to demonstrate outdoor living. Uh, the types of furniture that you'd want to do, the things that you want to go mm -hmm. outside. Different it's container about. gardens and different mm -hmm. seasons of container gardens. Uh, cool season vegetables. My gosh, there's just a lot of the weather permits, of course. Sure. Shooting is right. always a, sure. an issue, yeah. but still it gives us a whole range of options. And of course, we love to talk about the fact that winter is often ignored mm -hmm. uh, and the se different seasons are often ignored. And maybe if y'all are out here more, y'all would uh, take a better care yeah, of the yeah. 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 <laughs> We take care of Bermuda. Mm -hmm. And grow some of your own vegetables. I know a lot of times I saw somebody's already decided to take home the thyme today, mm -hmm. so that'll be more of it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Now let me ask you this though. Somebody's probably looking at this like, so what are they going to do with the Bermuda? What about the grass here? Good point, Chris. Yeah. yeah. It can actually, as you know, be taken up and used somewhere mm -hmm. else. You can cut sod. You can actually yeah. rent uh, sod cutters and roll it up and yeah. take it to some place that would really uh, like to have it. I'm not a big fan, as you know, know you. <laughs> because of the fact that it is such a thug, but there's, there's a time and place for Bermuda. It's a great sure. for kids to play and run. It takes a lot of traffic. It loves full sun, mm -hmm. and it stops erosion. So it's a good, good plant. Mm -hmm. we, won't, we won't let it go to waste. Okay. okay. Good. Well, thanks, Carol. That gives us a lot to talk about, and I'm sure we'll be talking uh, more in the future about how exactly to arrange all this. Probably so. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, we can't wait to see what this is going to look like. I think it'll be fun. I think it will I, be fun. I think it'll be a great challenge, but I, I think it'll be a lot of fun to work on, and we'll learn a lot doing it. Sure. I think it'll be great. Mm -hmm.